What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Mom Reviews here with a new a different type of videos. It's something I've done up before, but I haven't done in the last couple of seasons. But this is gonna be the list of things that I'm going to be watching for this anime season that is coming up in the next week. And a lot of shows are actually on my lit on my radar at the very least, and I've narrowed it down to about seven that I think I'm gonna be at least keeping an eye out on at the very least, but most of these I'm definitely gonna be checking out. Now I did do a ranking of these, so it is gonna be from least most hype to definitely, absolutely, I'm gonna be all over it. Um, and I know some people might have a little bit of uh, qualms as to why I have certain things placed certain areas, but you'll see why later on down the road. But anyways, guys, I'd like to talk about the very first one, and it's gonna be the least amount of hype surrounding it for my, me personally, but it's something that I think definitely warrants it and that is definitely going to be Monster Musume no Oisha-san. Now, I've seen maybe a chapter of this and I kind of forgot about it. And the only reason why this is on my radar is because of two words. Actually one, monster. And yes, that means there's monster girls. It's, mo it's mostly monster girls. Basically, in the town of Linworm, where monsters and, co and humans coexist, Dr. Glenn runs an exemplary medical clinic for monster girls with his Lamia assistant, Safi. Now, I mean, you can kind of get the premise already. I mean, me and mon monster girls go way back. I mean, I've started, uh, I've started basically with Monster Musume or Everyday or um. There was another one that happened about a, about two years ago, Everyday Life with Monster Girls, I'm like, it was a more of a moe, I forgot the name of it right now, um, but it was about high schools, and it was a different take on the whole thing, and it wasn't definitely edgy, unlike Monster Musume, Everyday Life with Monster Girls. Um, the other one was um, Interviews with Monster Girls or something like that, I think that was around the, I think that was the uh, title of that one, but absolutely... It's Monster Girl, so at the very least, it's piqued to my interest, and I'll, I'll see what happens with the story, and now that it's in anime form, I might be inclined to uh, check it out. But the next one is going to be actually a little bit of a surprise for some people, considering how I normally like my shows, um, and a lot of people are looking forward to it. I'm very hesitant, and that would be Kanojo Okari, Okari Shimasu, or Okari Shimasu. I don't know, which is basically Rental Girlfriend. Now, I read the manga. I read it at the time when I first came out, and in fact, I think I read it when, about two years ago, um, and then I caught up with it last year. I don't like it. <laughs> the manga, they portray the MC as very unlikable. Um, and the girlfriend kind of is there. Or the, sorry, the girlfriend is kind of there the entire time. I'm not going to really spoil anything, but a lot of the series was basically him being flustered over the main girl um, and b b acting like this big old buffoon. And it was kind of the same shtick over and over and over again. Like, I don't mind it. Yes, he is kind of this, like, person who's not too well-versed in dating and he's finally dating this beautiful bombshell um and he's kind of a bit of a mess when it comes to her and i'm like i understand that but like for about 60 or so chapters it was the same thing they would add some plot points here and there but for the most part it was the same thing he never really grew as a character now i don't know they could actually cut out a lot of the I, I guess, for lack of a better word, fluff, and I'd be actually fine with the show. Um, and I'm, I will give it a shot. I will give it a chance because I, I did enjoy it in the beginning, but it was recently in the last. I, I, I haven't touched in about maybe 40 chapters or however many chapters it's on right now. Um, but I haven't touched it since then. And if they can cut out a lot of the stupidity of the main character. Um, and a lot of the just downtime, which is completely unnecessary, that I can remember. Um, I, it might be an enjoyable show, but I'm not. I'm not crossing my fingers on this one. And if it fails, it's probably. I, I can definitely see why. Now for the third one, something simply because of the studio behind it, that would be Decadence. Now Decadence, I don't know much about it. In fact, I don't want to know much about it. It's all I know is that it's my studio nut. And I love Studio Nut. They're not that they don't have that many things behind under their belts, but the few things that they have I like. For example, Yojo Senki and Yojo Senki the movie. Yeah, um, pretty freaking good. Uh, they did a fully cool alternative, and I don't really I've never really seen that. But Yojo Senki is one of my favorite shows in recent years, 
and the fa and I think they did a fantastic job. It was animated great, and I thought it was really good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna well, I'm willing to give it a shot, and I'm not gonna really like think about it much, other than the fact that it's made by Studio Nut, so I have a feeling at least the action scenes are gonna be interesting. And yeah, and again, purely because of the art studio, it is actually already beating Rent a Girlfriend <laughs> just by that. Uh, but the next one is going to be something that I would have had higher, but. I never finished the first season, and that would be Fire Force. Now, Fire Force is made by the same author who did Soul Eater, which is one of my favorite animes of all time. It's in my top five. It's never really slipped up, and I know some people have a problem with the, with the anime compared to the manga. I've never read the manga, so I don't care. Uh, but I think Soul Eater, as uh, as as the anime, I haven't seen any of the original material. I think it's one of my favorite of all times. Who knows? The manga could be better, but I don't want to ruin that experience for me. So, and yes, Fire Force, I was like, ooh, cool, it's the same thing. First season definitely does not hold a candle to Soul Eater. Do I still enjoy it? Absolutely. I think I'm only like the last two episodes or three episodes, I'm probably going to go re-listen to it at work because I can just listen to music at work because I'm cool that way and no one says anything because I'm a boss. But no, in reality, it's supposed to be just because no one really gives a shit. <laughs> and I can listen to the dub version and I can know exactly what's going on for the most part. I'll probably pull up my phone just to see what's going on every once in a while. But I remember I was in at least episode 21, 22, and I think there was only the like 24 episodes or 26 episodes. So I'm not that far behind. Will I react to it? I don't know. We shall see. It's going to be airing in the next two days. Three days, sorry. Three days. I'm, record I'm recording this on the first, so it's probably going to take a little bit to edit because I had to go to bed right after this. Anyway. Um, I don't know if I will react to it. I know some people are going to go, oh, where was your reaction to the first season? I didn't watch first season. I didn't react to it in the first season. I don't remember why. I think I just wasn't in wanting to react to it. But yeah. So yeah. Fire Force... See, second season is my number four pick. Now I'm gonna number five pick that I'm most hyped for is something that would be higher, but I need to rewatch the series so I can remember how good it was. And that is my teen romantic comedy snafu, third season. Oh boy. I loved this series when I first watched it. Way back in the day when the first season came out. And then I remember bits and pieces of the second season, but I need to watch it again. Um, because it was a bit of a shocker because I didn't know at the time I wasn't really well versed in the fact that they had completely swapped uh, Animation studios and I was like wait wait this uh, looks completely different um, But it, it, it seemed to have worked But yes, I am very interested in seeing how this is going to happen um, I, If you were to pull, put a gun to my head and tell me who's my best waifu from t my teen romantic comedy Well, I must say I'm in a very odd position to be there and I would have questioned how I got to that situation in the first place But I would probably say there are two girls that I just like in terms of characters And I know some people are gonna be pissed off when I say this, but I kind of like Iroha I know she's like the senpai, but she has that teasing mentality and I kind of like that I just kind of like the teasing mentality is kind of gets to me as a character I and I I fall in sucker for them way before and I'll continue to fall for it now but I love that teasing characters that have hidden motives and kind of like hint and prod but will never say things straight out I kind of don't mind that in that kind of sense there are cases where I don't like that but in her case I kind of let it slip and I kind of enjoyed it the other one I don't remember her name um, but it was the teacher and why because yes if you don't know there is a bridge scene in the second season and I was like and Hachiman um, just nailed it on the head. It was like if I was born 20 years later or she was born 20 years earlier I totally would have fallen head over heels for her. I'm like, yeah, and guess what? He's 16. I'm 25. That means she's around 25 maybe a little bit older She's around my age range and she drives Really nice. I forgot what kind of car. I think she drove. I think it was like one of those super like luxurious cars um, It has like that statue in the front. That's their symbol um, if someone were to say it, I'd be like, that's it. Um, but she has it all going. She's mature. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And yes, he is right. People just don't have good taste in women. And it is a damn shame that is single. I do find it funny, though, that in, I believe, the visual novel, the bad ending for Hachiman is ending up with the teacher. Because if that were me, I'd say that is a damn good ending. But yeah, so 
I need to catch up on this and I think it will definitely change based off of how recent I watch it because I'm going to watch it before I can go into the third season. I will not react to this because this is not a type of show that I like reacting to. I like to enjoy this on my own. Um, it's it's a little bit easier for me to just process everything with this kind of show and I know some people are gonna be a little bit upset but I do and I do apologize but this show for sure if I decide to watch it which I definitely will later on down the road or when it's airing um, it'll be I'll be watching it on my own for my own enjoyment now the next one the second to the first second to the last or second to the best would be Uzaki chan wa asobitai I love this manga it's such a good manga. I know so I know a certain reactor will not will stay away from this series because of two main reasons, and that is her boobs. And that would be LAR Games, another reactor who you should check out too. I me and him are pretty good friends and we like to uh, bust each other's balls. Um, but I've read the manga, I'm completely caught up. It hasn't been updated in a while. I can see why because the author's probably been in contact or has been helping out with the production of the anime and I think the anime is great. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. I think the series is great, and I think the anime is going to be fun. There's a good. It's going to be very lighthearted. It's very going to be very comedy. There's going to be some romantic elements in play. It's only recently that happened in the manga. Not really spoiling anything. It's kind of shown off. You can kind of tell just in this kind of style. Will I react to it? Most likely. Not 100% sure, but most likely. It's airing July 10th. I have nine days to decide. I'm not entirely sure, but I might be doing it. Um, I kind of feel like I'm gonna have some laughs. It's not gonna be like cracking up me slapping the arms of my chair or slapping the desk or just giggling like a little schoolgirl. That's not gonna be me because that's mostly Kaguya Sama Loves War, which just ended. Um, I think there's gonna be good guffaws, but there's nothing gonna be like me. There's no, I don't think it's gonna be knee slapping humor. It's just gonna be a fun, comedic, lighthearted with some good stuff. And there's also going to be some little things I'm not going to say, but you'll say when I do react to it. But yeah, I I'm going to hold off on what that is just so you guys can see. But yeah, I think there's going to be some crazy antics. I love the dynamics between the main characters and the families and the side characters. They're all great. They all work in perfect unison. And I think it's going to be a fun show overall. Highly recommend it if you want to watch something, if you want to watch something less, you know, serious. Speaking of serious, let's talk about my seriously top pick. And I guess, and I know if you're, you've probably already figured it out just by judging, ooh, what hasn't he said already, and what's really popular, and is the number one thing that almost everyone else is looking forward to. Yes, that's right, ReZero second season. What do you expect? I loved first season. In fact, I have on my computer my reaction to, I forgot what episode it was, of the first season, if you haven't seen first season, I'm gonna spoil something, but if you haven't seen first season, you should, really should, and I'm gonna spoil one thing. So, go away for like a minute. <laughs> but I reacted way back in the day, before any of my other reactions to anime, I reacted solely to the episode where Subaru finally has his reset way after, um, and he gets taken over by Belgeese, and he's like, going back and forth and he goes and he, I think he has um, Felix kill him but it wasn't really Felix that wasn't able to kill him so he had the uh, the other night had to kill him and it was just uh, it was just a crazy thing I remember watching it the main reason why I got taken out is because I had audio and I showed the entire episode I didn't know at the time you had to block things out because you know copyright but yeah I love the first season I would remember because it came out every Sunday um, and I think let's see it's July is 8th and that is every Wednesday okay works for me um, but it's probably it might be the ninth. If it's like airing late on in Japan, it'll probably the ninth Thursday. Eh, might have a little bit of troubles reacting there, but we'll see what happens. Am I reacting? To it? Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna have to make sure it's very well covered, good enough so you guys can still see the subtitles, like I normally do with my reactions. But absolutely, yes, for sure, I'm reacting to this. I can't wait to see a second season. I can't wait to see some things that are going to happen apparently and apparently during the first teaser there was a lot of characters shown especially with the newest trailer um where i'm like ooh, you're gonna really like that character because they're very integral to the part um story and just a lot of stuff and yeah absolutely re-zero second season my top pick and the top picks for a lot of people in fact it is like i said the number one most popular and most looked after one now i know some people i may be asking ramen what about Sora online i haven't caught up with it 
I'm still on second season because I can't get past it. Reasons. And the God of High School? Maybe. I actually totally forgot about that. I do apologize. But it's by Studio Mappa, so that's definitely on the list. Okay, if I had to pick, I'd probably put God of High School just purely based on the fact that it's also Mappa and I had heard some things about it. It's actually going right in between... Rent a Girlfriend and Decadence. Decadence, I'm a little bit more interested in because of the artwork, but we'll see it. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's my list. That's my list. So, eight. We got Monsa Musume, uh, med medical, <laughs> doctor things, Rent a Girlfriend, um, God of High School, Decadence, um, Fire Force Season 2, Teen Romantic Comedy uh, Season 3, Uzaki Chan, and then ReZero second season let me know what you guys are looking forward to for this season i know i might be missing some stuff normally with these kinds of lists i tend to forget about a lot of the stuff that i just totally gloss over there are plenty of shows yes that i'm probably glossing over and i might actually like some of them who knows i didn't think i would like saga of tiny evil i totally passed it by it, and then it turned out to be one of my favorites of that entire season who knows same thing with um at, I think it was during air at the same time fucking Kobayashi Dragon Maid totally glossed over it one of my favorites I don't know every season has the opportunity to completely blow me out of the water and blow my expectations out of the water so who knows but anyways guys that's it for this video that's it for my list what let me know your list it doesn't have to be in order but are just things that you're most likely looking forward to let me know in the comment section below definitely want to see them again this video is going to be coming out in a couple days after i record this because i had to edit it and then i'm going to be throwing up but yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, this episode reaction, and I will see you guys. I just said, episode reaction. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed my list of the top shows that I'm looking forward to in summer season of 2020. It's been a long day. Came home from work. It's been a long day. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.